Hello everyone. Today I will be showing around my online banking website which I just created. Please note this video is for educational purpose only. So as you can see over here, this is the bank front page. This is the bank front page over here. And from the front page you can see there is a translator. You can translate the site to any language of your choice. And also there is a live chat over here. So you can send message directly. Your client can send message to you directly and you will receive it. So that's for the home page. Then we have the account page. We have the account page over here. Um, we have the mortgage, then the loan, the investment page, and the contact us. So your message, your client can also send a message through this contact us form, and then we click on submit after filling those fields. So that's for the front page of the website. So let me, let's move over to the main part of the website, which is the sign in. Uh, this is the sign in over here. From the sign in, you can sign in as the admin or you can sign in as the user. So as the admin, if you sign in as the admin, that, that is where you will be able to create account for your user. So the admin has total authority over this particular website from the army dashboard you can create accounts you can form the account you can delete accounts you can change password of any account and so on and so forth so we we'll log in as the army right now then we'll create accounts for the user so let's get started okay as you can see right now, this is the admin dashboard. This is the admin dashboard. We have logged in as the admin. So, as you can see right here, we have open account, admin dashboard, then log out. So, so now we want to create account for a user. So, all you need to do is to click on open account. Then you will see a form showing. So you have to fill this form with the detail of your client. So let's say, for example, we we'll fill this particular details now. Then the password, the username, and so on. So this is the username. Then the password. Okay, let just select simple password. Then the level. We'll select it as a user. Then the next of key information, we'll select the next of key information to gender, the relationship, as a son, wife, any one of them. Then address, we'll select address also. Select address, then account status, put it to active. Then date, the date we are creating this account was today's date, okay? Let me just say. 12 of 05 21. Then phone number and select the phone number over here and put the client phone number over here. Then account type can be current, can be service. So we'll just put the account over here. The currency, let's say, want it to be. US dollar. Okay, then city, you put the city over here. Then also, we have the zip code. Okay, and then over here also, you have to select a passport photograph. So, move over to my system right now. Okay, let me go to download. Then, okay, let me just pick one of those ones. Okay, then I'll I'll click on save. 
all right all right as you can see right now this is the account we just created the account number is auto generated so you can see the account number of it so we are we will log out right now then log in the account the user account we just created let's see how it works so we have to log out as the admin okay we log out as the admin then the username Okay, then the password of the user account. Okay, as you can see over here, this is the account we just created. So this is the name, this is the account number, and um, the rest of the rest things you can see over here. So account balance, the book balance is going to zero zero. That's because we haven't add any funds to this account. Then we have your available balance, then the last debit. Everything shows zero zero. Okay. Then you can see over here also we have the translator. And translate this particular page. And translate into any language of your choice by selecting it. Yeah. So here we have the account details. So the account details, the details we use to create the account. Then here also we have the account statement. Account statement over here, then funds transfer. Okay, we are going to make use of this place later on. So, this where if you want to transfer money out of this account, so you have to fill this particular place. So, that's for that. We have the settings. If you want to change the password of this account now, we we'll move over to settings. Then we have the contact us. Okay. This is the contact of contact us page. Then we have the logout. So there is something we will have to go and do at the admin page. So as you can see here, the passport we selected is not shown. So we have to go back and upload another one. So let's log out right now as a user. Or oh, okay, let me use my other browser. Have to use my other browser. Okay. All right. Okay, let me log in as admin over here. I will log in as admin over here. Then we do the changes. Then we we'll move over to the home browser and refresh. Okay, it's loading. All right. If we have logged in the new dashboard on the upper menu. So this is the account. We have to move over to this the account we created earlier and click on edit. So we click on edit. All right. Then you can see over here. You can change the details you select earlier. You can make changes over here. So you can, this one is showing to me. Then we change it to active. Okay, active. Then let's select the passport. Let's okay, let's select another one. That's it. We've selected that particular passport. Then we'll click on save. Click on save. Okay, we have saved it. So let's move over to the user account in the other browser all right then we we'll refresh okay you can see this part the passport is showing over here right now so that's for that so what are what we are going to do right now is that we'll fund this particular account let's say we want to fund it with um the sum of five hundred thousand us dollar so we we'll have to go back to the user account because from the user account that's where we were able to do changes that is able to fund account so let's move over all right this is the admin dashboard so we'll select add trust this particular one we'll click on it okay we'll click on it then we'll select the date so you can click here to select 
and here. All right. Okay. So let's see. It. Then the narration. Let's see. Um, the first night. Profit. Profit. All right. Then we'll, we'll move over to this place. Let's see. Create it. Okay. Let's type the amount. Five hundred. Thousand. Okay, and I think that's the current one. Five hundred thousand. Okay, click on submit. You can add. You can fund the account with any amount of your choice. So there is no limitation to how much you can fund a particular account. So this this particular account now, the account balance is five hundred thousand US dollar. So we'll move over to the we'll move over to the user accounts. Okay, then we'll refresh. We'll refresh the account. Awesome, awesome. As you can see, the account balance now is showing five hundred thousand US dollar, and the available balance is five hundred thousand US dollar. The last debit is showing zero zero because we haven't made any transfer from this particular account. So that's what we are going to do right now. We are going to make. We are going to transfer money out of this account. Let's see how it works. So we'll move over to funds transfer. Okay, there's something I want to show you before we go back to funds transfer. As you can see over here, this is the date we made the track we made the credit, we credited this account. Then we have the investment profit that is the narration we type over there. And you see the credit from the US dollar then balance the available balance right now is Hundred thousand US dollar. So we we'll move over to the statement. Okay, you will also see details about that transaction we just did. So let's make transfer. Let's transfer some money out of this account so that we will see how it works. So if you want to transfer money out of this account, you you have to fill these details. Like beneficiary account details. So we'll click on account beneficiary name. Let's say we want to transfer the money to yes, John. Let's say John T. Then the beneficiary account number. Let's say this is the account number. Then we have the bank name. Let's say City Bank. City Bank. Then Necessary Swift code. So I have to put the Swift code here too. IBAN number, put the IBAN number over there. Then the necessary resident address. So I have to put the address and also the email. Let's select any one of those. So select that one. Then narration, as you see. Um, purchase of For gold, then we we'll type the amount. Let's say we want to transfer two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand US dollar from this particular account. Then after filling everything, we we'll click on submit. Okay, this is the confirmation page. This is the confirmation page over here where you have to confirm your details. And after confirming it, you have to say confirm. As you can see, the transfer is processing. It's processing over here. Okay, so once you get once the transfer loads to 50%, you now request for COT code. As you can see, nobody says please enter your foreign country license purchase code. But purchase COT code to continue. Do not share your COT code with anyone. So this transfer now for this transfer to be complete, you need to provide COT code for the client. And you can only do that if you have access to the admin dashboard. So we we'll move over to the admin dashboard now and then copy the COT code to complete our transfer. Then I will go back to the admin. Then yeah, I'll click on dashboard. Okay, you will see over here we have the set code. 
So we we'll click on set code. Okay, you can see over here. This is the theory code. The transfer is going to be requesting for before to complete. So without this theory code, there is no way the transfer will be successful. So you can change it to any number of your choice. So we are going to use this one right now. We'll copy. We'll copy this one. Copy. Then we'll go over there and paste. All right, as you can see. It has accepted the code. Mind you, if you type any random code, you will not accept it. So let's try it to run here. And let's see any random code. And you say wrong task code. So we have to move over to the admin right now and copy the and copy the task code. Okay. Then go back to the user and paste. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it has accepted the code. Uh, this is the last code, so we have to move over to the admin dashboard and copy it also. Copy, then come over here and, and paste. Okay. As you can see, funds transfer. Your funds have been successfully transferred, which will reflect in your monetary account within 72 hours. Thank you for using our service. So that's for that. That is everything you need to know about the online banking website. So we'll move over to the, my account. So let's see how everything goes. So this is it. This is the transfer we just did right now. Reference number and debit. So debit of 200,000 US dollars. So available balance now is now 300,000 US dollars. And you can see right here. Right now, the last debit is now showing $200,000. So, guys, that's what I want to show you about my online bank website. And also, you can see there is a live chat here too. So, your clients can contact you using this live chat whenever he's having trouble or maybe when he needs the code to complete the transaction. So, thank you very much for watching my video.